where you get one or two shots. Right. Because your one or two shots are a lot stronger compared to Street Fighter 4. Totally, you're totally, pushed out. Totally. But Alex does not have the neutral that Abel has. Right. right. No buffer uh, step kick into, into combo. Yeah. Very nice. Down strong counter hit does combo to down jab. Now, I know you've played against Magneto 10AP a lot, but so have I. Um, he is one of my most prominent online training buddies. Okay. We've had maybe a late night training uh, sets, both sober and drunk. And um, I will say that uh, his frame tights are really clean. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you have to respect. He's a tryhard. Yeah. That's the only way to describe Jared. is a total tryhard, and you do not want to press buttons on him. Yeah. Oh, he almost went for the guard break there, and Magneto respected it just a little bit too early. And that's the mix-up, is that if you go for the guard break, obviously they want to jump out, but if you release it a bit early, you catch those pre-jump yeah. frames. And I will say, uh, outside of Andre, Jared's prop and when I say Andre, I mean Chaltik. Magneto uh, uh, 1080p is the most consistent Karen player I've gone up against with the uh, Tenta Bombs. Like, yeah, he totally. lands the Just Frame version every time. Oh, and gets his hand heavy kick, but it hits Airborne, so he doesn't get a combo after. Yeah. Winding up gives him his next hit becomes a counter hit. Yeah. Which is a big deal for Alex because it means the stand heavy kick, like, you know, spins right. him. His low forward combos into Valeria, which it normally would not. Right. His options just become so much better in the neutral. So by getting that off when he's in beat trigger, every single poke becomes a kill situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. It becomes super scary. Uses the stop for movement but gets punished for the recovery. Very nice DP on his wake up. Yeah. And Alex's neutral options are, are pretty rough in this in this match. I mean, you have Karen with a stand stand forward. And Which her is zero sleep. on block, by the way. One of the only medium kick buttons to be like yeah. that in the game. I mean, she has great neutral options, and it kind of just makes it really hard for Alex to mount neutral and uh, mount right. pressure in neutral without having to rely on either jump stomp or jump, you know, grab shenanigans. Yeah, his, his only real option is to outrange her with the down four, but she's yeah. done a great job of jumping over it or otherwise challenging it via, you know, counter folks. If the Karen has the wherewithal and the patience to say, hey, all I'm going to do is stand here and press stand forward, it's actually really hard for Alex to do that. Totally, totally hard because like, he's a character that she can anti her as long as she has an EX meter. And he's a character that can't dash up quickly enough to take her out. Alex has one of the slower dashes in the game at 19 frames. And it goes so far that it almost makes it easier to react to. Right. Like suddenly Alex is in your face Round and everyone's one. just going to mash. Yeah. Fight. So it's 3-1 right now. Texas is down. But Jarrett can at least make this respectful. You know, it's only the last one that counts, right? Hey, last match wins. <laughs> Everyone's had like a 20 game set where they were they got bopped and then had <laughs> called last for match a two wins. Out of three. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure if actually uh, Alex can punish um, Karen Sweet on block. It's it's hard. His sweep itself is pretty long, so I'm assuming that will typically. I think he has to have charge to go for the elbow. I don't think he has a normal option. He might be able to sweep himself. I'm really okay. Positive. Karen with a loaded beat trigger, yeah, any poke can potentially be safe or huge damage. Right. And the unfortunate thing about that is typically with Karen, when it comes to her beat trigger Rekka meta, after two Rekkas, you do the crouch jab if you have a three frame one to check her follow up options with the exception of the palm, which is airtight but minus 10 on block. So, with a full Alex, framer and no reversal, it's harder for Alex him for cannot sure. check that after the two Rekkas. So, that kind of makes things really complicated. Very nice. You see the low forward there to punish the sweep. It's funny how a lot of matchups in this game are defined by whether or not you have a three frame move. So many. And one situation we saw there was Alex's elbow slash is normally minus four on block. Right. But it has five active frames, which means that after a forward throw, it's perfectly time so it's zero on block instead. Okay, so he gets a good meaty setup. He gets a good meaty setup, and he gets oh. to stand strong afterwards. And Jarrett misses both the follow-up and the shimmy option. This and that combo only on counter it showed Jarrett was pressing something there. Totally. Final he always round. is. <laughs> the Austin call-out. 
You know, you gotta call out your boys sometimes. <laughs> Dude, that's all I do with my boys. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. You see him always do the down strong and the down jab there. If he dashes into it and gets counter hit, that will combo. Yeah. And otherwise, you know, you just lay off. And it's a good check. It's a, it's a nice check to have. We got down he, strong he gets punish. a kind of strong punish, yeah. I'd, I'd like to see a bit more damage in that situation. Yeah, either a damage or a knockdown. One or the other, I don't think just the crowd strong is ideal. If you can hit the crowd strong, you can hit the stand fierce as well. Right. And the stand fierce does lead to the slash. Oh, good alpha Very counter punish. Nice. Obviously, alpha counters in this game are hit invincible, but throwable. Yeah, which sucks, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, in certain situations, you can jab or throw pretty safely yeah. and bait it easily. Honestly, like, I mean, that's a pretty big mark commitment. I I personally think they should be throwing this. Most like, of the time, yeah. And so Alex with V-Trigger becomes a lot scarier. He has a parry now, and pretty much any situation can lead to him getting a kill. Yeah, plus a lot of his buttons uh, turn into hit confirms, especially right. neutral range. He's buffering the Lariat. Uh, not that time, though. Whoa. Down okay. strong actually will only combo on counter hit, so it's really only safe to go for. The down strong into the Lariat? The down strong into the Lariat will okay. only combo on Wait. counter hit, so you do that after you've winded up a hard hit. Gotcha. The stand strong will combo either way, and so that's often a buffer tool you'll see used. And we're up to 1-1. One, one. In this Alex versus Karen matchup. Yeah. It's been really lame so far, and that's just about how it's going to go. Both characters have long footsie tools, and both characters have slow jumps. Yeah. Uh, misses the punish on there. The Tenka is minus 10 on block. Um, one thing I want to see with Alex, and for most of the Alex's I've seen today, they've, they've been pretty conservative with the bar usage. I want to see them use EX Knee for anti-air. Yeah, totally a super sick anti-air that gives him his best setup. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. I want to see the music. Wow, and I don't know if that was just mistimed or... Overhead blocked and easily punishable, but not any damage from Spider Yeah, I there, don't know if Alex actually gets anything off of the four-frame crouch trap. Like... He can do down jab, stand jab, slash. Okay. And so what you saw there, and this is another high-level tactic oftentimes, is... Typically when people are trying to come out of the corner, they're really aggressive about it. So if you start blocking with the corner advantage, you can often DP people trying to escape. Yeah. They, Plus two uh, cannot press any buttons. They say, they say that's when you know someone's getting thirsty. <laughs> Very nice You gotta buffer. recognize the thirst. Oh, and just out of range for the tick grab. Let's yeah. see if Jared tries to switch sides somehow. Very nice. The minus two leads perfectly into the DP. Yeah. He does not punish that. I mean, you got to imagine he Very was going for it. Uh, but it's... He does have V-Trigger. Both characters in their V-Trigger mode. Wow. He doesn't really get anything aside from that. So I do respect that. Very he is minus three. But no. it, it's minus three, so he was pressing something there for uh, Jared to get that crowd strong. But he misses the follow-up, and we're back in a neutral position. That V-Trigger bar, it's going down so slow. <laughs> yeah, it mostly only goes down when she uses the, the Rekka itself. So, so it lets her typically do around three Rekkas. Yeah. Jarrett looking for a command grab there. Holding Final up round. and getting hit by the Sand Strong by Gustavo. And the throw. This time, you know, after so many attempts at the meaty slash, he goes to the dash grab and gets mastered anyway. And the reason yeah. for that is they come at different timings. So frankly, it's not as real as, say, Laura's setup, where they'll right. come right around the same time. With Alex, if you do a late jab, you'll block the slash or hit the jab. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Oh, good walk back, Shimmy, from Jarrett. Nice meter usage. This will go. Goes straight to it, cuts it short. Good job from McNeil, you attended. Jared goes up 2 1. Cutting wins. And so, it's just something Jared's done a really good job of in this set in general is not allowing Gustavo to do anything in order to Round get in. One. As you saw, every time he's tried to dash in, he's gotten counter hit for it. Every time he's gone for a meeting, he's just blocked and taken the plus frames. And, and in general, Gustavo hasn't been able to lead into the knee, which is where his real setups come in. Yeah, Jared's done a really good job of just pressing buttons in neutral to keep Gustavo And he can down. press buttons right there because he's totally plus. And with someone like Alex that does not have a good whip punish, and does not have a good walk speed, it's kind of hard to punish that. Totally hard. And 
it's, it's kind of the Makoto or the Makoto meta where your whiff punish is in the button, but it's actually forward in the front. Right. Which, which for Alex is difficult to deal with because his only options at that point are a slower command grab than average yeah. or, you know, kind of weak pokes. And in that situation, Alex had bar. I, I really would have liked to have seen the EX knee uh, for an anti-air. Um, it's, it's just, it's not been happening. Or at least a down fierce attack, exactly. A, a good check nice by there, but he does not hit confirm. And that stomp has so little recovery that it's oftentimes hard to punish. Those are the most annoying moves. I hate those moves. Oh, and unfortunately he misses his combo with down strong there at max yeah. range. If he buffers a, a counter poke with down strong and a V trigger, he has to do EX slash. This is the only thing that will reach, and right. instead he gets the heavy. So Strider takes the first round here. Very nice combo. Oh, only gets the second hit though, so yeah, it doesn't launch full follow up. Minus three, good check from Jarrett with a sand medium kick. And, uh, you know, as we've seen, Alex just has such a hard time dealing with the sand medium kick. And Karen Karen misses the, the combo. combo. Come on, that's Alex 101. Let's Karen get away with Crouch Jab on Wake Up. Must have been looking for the reversal. But here something he goes. notable about Karen that you just saw there is she has some of the worst Oki off the forward throw mid screen. Yeah. She's barely plus whatsoever, and so she can't go for anything. She just Alex has to do the uh, sand roundhouse, or not sand roundhouse, the sand mini kick, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And even that, you know, like it, it's not airtight. Yeah. Gustavo getting a little advice from not a Utah person, but uh, just an out of state person. And he's. <laughs> Alucard from oh, Alucard uh, Detroit. Just hitting everybody up. Polarnet, Gustavo, and Jerry. Right. Just saying, what's up, guys? <laughs> Collusion. <laughs> Now, how do you feel about Alex's character model in this game? His what? His model, his backwards knees. I'm going to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of his model. There was that one guy uh, that made the uh, his own character model that was like kind of circulating through better, Facebook. Yeah. I thought that was way better. And there's the EX we were talking about earlier. That was the best combo in that range. Yeah. Oh. Goes for the reset option instead. I would have preferred... Okay, well, whatever. I don't play Alex. I'll shut up. Oh, my God. Gustavo goes for three resets as opposed to uh, just finishing the combo. Now that actually combos there. Oh, that was a combo. So a uh, spin state in this game allows you to combo into a command grab. Oh my it's god, a I'm special so crush dumb. counter only setup. I don't know. Even I... Vega can do that. He can do crush counter, heavy kick, combo into command grab. I did not know that. Well, Dude. you know, there's a lot to learn for everyone, Adnan. Uh, 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 apparently more for me than anyone else. <laughs> well, some of us are nuts, and some of us are. Not as nerdy, but we're all pretty much nerds. I know we're all nerds. I'm just bad at being it, apparently. <laughs> on, oh, good Gustavo's punish from uh, best Gustavo adjustment, that. in my opinion, has been he's been spending bar on that ex slash, and the Oki off of that is so much better yeah. than off of a. He does not slash. get good Oki off of the regular slashes, right? If any at all, to be honest. Very nice heavy punch counter poke. Oh, oh good walk, up, walk throw. up throw. Mitigates the risk. Doesn't want to deal with him just holding up. Right. Obviously, if they hold up Alex on a regular throw, you're actually going to punish. And I'm a big fan of this. Both players taking a drink after the round. <laughs> We're kind of living that life right now. So I think it's now 3-2 in Gustavo's favor. He's taking the last two games really quickly. 3-2 in Gustavo's favor. Uh, for sure, Point. this has been the closest set uh, at UFN so far. <laughs> Nice shinny from uh, Jared. I don't think that was confirmed or any action, but it worked out for him, so I'm a fan of it. Right. I, what, what you're confirming at that point is that they've whiffed the throw. You can't confirm the low medium. You itself. don't quite. Yeah. You confirm the throw whiff when you're in the medium. Right. And him and Jared uh, really kind of representing that stand medium kick, showing that it's a worthwhile move. And I like that. Yeah, he doesn't go straight plus into plus three, the... so it gets a perfect command. Yeah. Wow. He goes for the low option after having gone for the frame trap option multiple times in a row. Yeah. God, he's getting so much mileage out of these neutral game, you know, EX uh, stung that headbutts. Gustavo. And that move can be anti-air or neutral jumps, at which point yeah. there's so much recovery you can land to do whatever you want. I do like kind of just uh, continuous neutral jumping in neutral against Alex. I, I don't think he has a good... I guess 45 degree or is it no, 40, 45 degree? He has degree to hard call move. it out with the knee. Yeah. Essentially, which is, you know, a super hard. 
And the Slash is nice here. It's plus three and lets him do that Lariat to his heart's content. Yeah. The unfortunate thing about Alex, if he blocked his stand pierce, or if his forward pierce, he can kind of just block back and get away from pressure. Right? right. Most of the time, he's not close enough to get a command grab in that situation. However, Jerry holds the life lead very well that game and doesn't spend any of his money to get the kill. Put him in both of the full stick of super meter going into round three. Yeah, this uh, this round, fireworks expected. What are you, the SF4 commentator? Apparently. <laughs> Very nice when you get that Jarrett never misses that. And of course, Downs Strong has four active frames, which is you know twice as much as the average range, which just says two and makes Dude. it twice as me. It's good. It's really good. Yeah. And that's Karen's biggest strong suit is really her pressure game. Her mediums right. link into her mediums, link into her mediums. Yeah. And they're all frame traps. They're all perfect. You cannot mash out. He, speaking of mediums, he misses the stand meter follow-up on that. Oh, does not super to... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, not supering there could cost them the game. We've seen a lot of people leave meter on the table and yeah. not finish their combos that can give them a kill. And, I mean, granted, and this, will this is it. Bring it back to 3 3. You know, he does the down strong or the stand strong into D trigger here. And while it doesn't, you know, those noises are normally plus, they normally combo regularly, it gives him a much more plus situation and a lot right. more frames to work with. It makes him feel safer, basically. And so right now we're going into match, you know, it's uh, 3 to 3 going into match 7 of the set. And the neutral jump heavy kick catches her out of the Tenko from the neutral game. And very nice, what you see there? Alpha counter after blocking a jump in isn't very real in this game. Alpha counter, especially Karens and other characters, are slow. They have 15 frames startup, and it grabs only five. So you can grab them out of it on reaction after landing to the flash. Elbow, well, minus four is often safe just as a matter of how far it is. And the shimmy there doesn't bite, but still safe on block because our shoulder's only minus two. Very nice dashboard, catches them walking backwards. And Jared's doing a much better job being more offensive so far, which doesn't allow him to get tagged as easily. And pretty much a standstill. Anytime you're at a standstill and Alex is in E-Trigger, you're gonna see him charge up his V skill and that gives him a hard hit and lets low forward combo into the Larry. Super strong and obviously, you know, gives him the low buffer that he's never had before in regular mode. Dash up throw is nice if they're down strong, which is minus, so typically Alex players will wait there. Oh, and the, the super hard read is not enough for Jared. Lariat plus enough to get down strong and nice tight box ring. And a down strong counter hit plus enough to give him another one for free. And Jared not looking for those stun gun headbutts. Whipping Lariat into stand strong. Of course, whipping Lariat, you know, he's minus at that point. However, because it happens so quickly, pressing another button will often counter hit them, trying to whiff punch the move too late. This is a common tactic. So you see Ryu's and Vegas withstanding heavy kicks over people and get the moves anyway. There's no reason why Alex can't do the same thing with his own high profile move. And, and Strider on match point in the set, 4-3. And, and, and Jared's been doing a very good job representing the Stanchor mix-up game, which is Stanchor in the tick grab or Stanchor in the shimmy. Basic, but super effective, given her options to block him afterwards. Valeria keeps him on the same side and goes for the perfectly timed command grab setup afterwards. Jared nearly in stun state. But the air to air is perfectly early, catches him trying to, you know, just neutral jump there in order to beat a dash. Instead, gets air to air. Very nice counter pump with stand medium kick. And just keeps him in the corner. Neutral jumps there, stop Jared from jumping out and, and landing with the down medium kick, stops him from dashing out. Putting Strider onto the match winning round of the set. And you know the block meters. Oh my god, and another one of those. Jared needs to start jumping out. He hasn't been stopping for a while. He's just been opting for the uh, stun gun headbutt. Very nice. People often get hungry, you know, after an air drop reset to go for the mix up, and that's exactly when you can DP. Corner throw, he actually gets Oki in the situation, unlike mid screen. Corner throw again. And 
almost it's done, but no reason to push it because obviously he'll die to end it anyway. I really like backing off in that situation with Magneto 1080p, where the stun would Final not have round. mattered. Fight. And we're on to match point. Possibly even up or possibly take the game for Strider. And unfortunately, the shimmy's still in the range of throw and gets caught. Very nice anti-air EXTP on the neutral drop. And the stop there finally, when he finally tries to jump out of the EX stun gun head, but Strider reads it with the stop. Very clever. And the best option to beat both is just an anti air You know, Stan Jeff, tag him out of it. Not a huge reward, but very nice. And that is a punish because you have landing frames and you land from a jump. The parry into SPD is a perfect punish. And we see it again. And a dash up for a third time. Strider with the hard reads. Five to three. Yeah, Strider takes his head. They're both confused, but I know what's going on. That's game over. And that has been every match of Panda's Ultra Fight Night. Unfortunately, Texas lost to the country 4-1, to one, which sucks, but what can you do about that? Um, maybe maybe, you know, maybe me and Adnan should have been up there. Probably not. Probably would have gotten blasted. Uh, this has been the end of Saturday night.